Peekaboo, Versace, 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 a little awkward or whatever. So yeah, guys, you already saw the title. We're here to talk about the very first episode for the assassination of Gianni Versace. It's an American crime story, and it's season two for the follow-up of OJ vs. the People. The team behind OJ vs. the People did this series, and I loved it. The people versus OJ, OJ versus the people, whatever, same thing, whatever. Yeah, guys, um, finally saw it, and let me tell you, it was good, it's interesting, I think I am definitely going to give it a go. Um, I don't like wasting my time with TV shows, if the first episode doesn't really hook me, I let it go. I know first, first episodes tend to be slow, because it's trying to introduce characters, and explain stuff, and catch you up, blah, blah, I understand that part. But, um, you know, I, I guess I was a little too harsh watching this episode uh, above other shows because I saw the the People vs. OJ and I was blown away, man. I mean, every episode in that show was perfection. You know, the dialogue, the, the, the sequences, just the setup of that show was just flawless in my eyes you know so when i heard of this one i was very intrigued because i know versace the brand and i know the guy was assassinated in miami beach in front of his house you know i'm from miami so i've heard the story but i'm not really too familiar with his life or uh you know how he carried himself or what he did or why they anyone would want to kill him you know i don't know none of those things so watching this it's like i don't know what's gonna happen or what's going on aside from the fact that he's gonna get killed and, um, so, yeah, I'm definitely interested, but it, first episode does not beat, you know, uh, the people versus OJ or OG versus the people, you know, whichever way you want to look at it. it. It just doesn't beat that very first episode. Uh, the amount of intensity in the OJ Simpson, uh, show was just very, very high. And I think it's because I knew what was at stake the entire time. So that's a little unfair to this brand new story that I'm not familiar with, you know, I guess. But uh, I, I would tell you this. I am definitely going to give it a go. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to support the show. I do enjoy it. I think the writing is good so far. It's only been one episode, so I can't go by much. Uh, as far as acting goes, I was blown away by the cast. They have a phenomenal cast from top to bottom, just like uh, the People vs. OJ. Um, you know, Versace, the actor who plays Versace, great. The guy who ends up killing him, great. Uh, Penelope Cruz, who's one of the more known actors on the show, phenomenal. And Ricky Martin, man, every scene he was in was super emotional. The guy could definitely act and he earned his stripes on this show for sure in my eyes. Um, yeah, I, I just, you get, I know you guys are looking, like, looking at me like I'm maybe rambling or like I'm, I'm stuck on my words because I'm also thinking while I'm talking about it here with you guys. And it's not that it's a bad show. It's not bad. It just... It doesn't have the same vibe that, uh, you know, the People vs. OJ had. I think that I'm very wrong for comparing it, and I shouldn't compare it, even though it's behind the same team. Um, I should look at this with a fresh set of eyes and just see where the story takes me, you know? Because, uh, as I said uh, earlier, I'm not informed with the story at all. I don't know where they're going with it, um, but I do like it so far. It's enjoyable. And I probably got to give the first episode a 7.5 out of 10. Um, anything higher than that, I'd be lying to you. Uh, just intriguing and, and, and just very interested in seeing where this goes. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for my thoughts on the first episode. I think I'm going to wrap it up now. Just don't want to continue rambling and start talking about a bunch of nonsense. But, uh, you know, the characters I'm interested in, the actors that play the characters blew me away. I, they just, they did really good with the casting. And and one complaint I do have, when he gets killed in the beginning, kind of bothered me the way they did it. Like the, the shots that they use and then the dialogue. Uh, right when he shoots, he's like, oh no, or something. I don't know. He turns around in slow motion. I, I just felt corny, you know. It just didn't feel right. 
Um, I wish they would have done that a little better. But that's probably like my only major complaint about the very first episode. Aside from that, it was good. I was hooked. And um, I definitely want to see more. So I'm going to review episode two uh, when that drops. So stay tuned to that. If you guys want to see more, comment down below and uh, subscribe for sure. Okay? Peace.